history this month, we also want to focus on the future of the young girls who are paving the way to make a name for themselves in upcoming history books. Mm -hmm. And the new book, Girls of the World Doing More Than Ever Before, is helping to inspire them. You gotta love it. And here to tell us more is author and the anchor of ABC News Live Prime and our very own Lindsay Davis. Good to see Woo! you, my friend. Woo! 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 Yes. Congratulations, book number six. Appreciate that. And you know what? You can just look at the cover. You don't even have to read the title and tell what it's about. Girl power here. I see uh, one is a doctor, uh, one is a, an astronaut. Why was it important to write this book now? You know, I want to start with the pictures where you're pointing out that inclusivity is so important. I feel like any girl who picks up this book is going to be able to say, she looks like me. I can identify with her. I can find myself in the pages of this book. And likewise, I want girls to dream bigger dreams than they may have even thought of just yet. You know, as far as what they can be. One of them you and I were talking about earlier is an astronaut, mm -hmm. is a doctor, all different uh, ranging professions. And I feel like it's important because there's still so much division in our country when it comes to all things, right? Racially, religion, but gender as well. And race Raising a little boy myself who will say like, oh, that's for girls or, you know, the, the kinds of sayings, you know, like you throw like a girl, which is negative or boys will be boys, which is positive. And I just feel like we need those affirmations that are in a, a positive association for the young girls, not just to remind them who they are, but what they are capable of doing. Mm. Yeah, it's a conversation I have with my little one all yes. the time. You are strong. <laughs> yes, right. Yeah. And you encourage girls to be strong, brave, and curious about the world and their place in it. I'm curious for you, who other than your parents really encouraged that? You know, there's a, right away, Elizabeth Hester, she was kind of my babysitter when my mom was uh, going back to work and I was two. And there she is, Mrs. Hester came into my life uh, changing my diapers and by the time she left she had changed my life. She really uh, reinforced like what I was capable of, the idea of foundation of faith. You know, she was a fire baptized, Holy Ghost filled uh, lady and you know, was like teaching me how to play the tambourine and sing old spirituals and everything all before I graduated oh, from, I from elementary. <laughs> so, um, so I think that there was that, that foundation of faith, but also belief in myself that anything was possible mm -hmm. and I was either silly or smart enough to, to believe her. Let's talk about your biggest joy. Aiden. Yes. Did he have an impact on this book? You know, so my son was like, you should do this book about boys. <laughs> I was like, boys have this affirmation every day. The world tells you, you're great, you can do anything. There is this empowerment that the boys naturally have. And just to your point about the idea of being strong and being brave, those are words that we often don't associate with girls about being courageous or ambitious or when those little girls grow up, they're often women who are told, you're too ambitious, you're too bossy right there are mm -hmm. negative associations and so I was like this book is your everyday <laughs> uh, <laughs> but but yeah part of that especially with him and just saying even when the like last week I said why don't I because he loves waffles so I said why don't I help you learn how to make the batter because it's so easy and he was like mom that's for girls to do and so he has these very uh, these delineations of what's for boys and what's for girls that I'm trying to place this book in his hands as well to try to erase all of that it's going to work, too. I hope work. so. Yes. I hope so. Uh, you know, when you read this book, I'm curious what the message is that you really want for people to take away. What, what's the lesson you want them to learn? You know, um, Henry Ford famously said, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. And so I think that if you're, as a girl, thinking all the things you can't do, then you never even venture out to try to see and taste what's possible, right? But if you believe early on that you can, then you think, why not? You go through life thinking, I should be, I could be, right? And right now we're still marking so many of the first woman to do this, right? I'm, I'm hoping that, that my son will grow up in a world where we're not even keeping track anymore because it's so prevalent. We have so many women who are thriving and, and aspiring to do more. We are so proud of you. Lindsay Davis. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. Yeah. It's like girl power in church. Now. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, right. We'll, do, we'll take that. <laughs> Girls of the world doing more than ever before. It is available everywhere right now where books are sold. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. 
We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.